Angela McFarlane believes that what the teaching profession needs is its own professional body. That's why she's one of the founding trustees of the College of Teaching. To find out more, Education and Chemistry met up with Angela at the recent Association for Science Education annual conference. Teaching is one of the few professions, possibly the only profession, that doesn't have its own chartered professional body that members join and which can then speak authoritatively for the profession. And as a result of that, we're not perhaps widely recognised as the expert professionals that teachers actually are. One of the things that a college can offer to teachers is a single professional voice, independent of political agendas, that is evidence-based, that is robust and offers a disinterested perspective on the knowledge base for teaching. One of the proposals for the college is the ability to award chartered teacher status. How will you convince head teachers to recognise this designation? One of the challenges for the college will indeed be to establish the value of chartered teacher status. We have support from the NAHT and the ASCL, the two leading head teacher unions, in that. But ultimately, it's about showing the profession, heads and teachers, what a chartered recognition actually means, what it says about the people who hold it, and how working towards chartered status is a really effective way of supporting teachers in the classroom. What are the plans for supporting subject knowledge development through continuing professional development? The College of Teaching is very much in favour of the promotion of updated, current subject knowledge amongst teachers and we don't plan to provide that directly, that would be daft when we have subject associations and learning societies who do that so well. So we will be actively encouraging members to seek out their subject association and learning society. The proposed annual subscription for the College of Teaching is £70. How will you convince teachers of the value of membership? The really important thing is that the college must offer teachers value for money. That's one of the reasons why we're running the big staff meeting, which is another major consultation with the profession on what they want the college to offer to them. What are the next steps for the College of Teaching? We have an active web presence on claimyourcollege.org and currently we have a major national consultation, the big staff meeting. We're encouraging every teacher to get involved, have a look at the website, see what the college is about, make your decision about whether or not this is something you want to support. If teachers decide this is something they want to support, then they need to do something. If the college is to be owned by the profession and not by interested parties, then it's for the profession to stake their claim. In order to do that, they do need to sign up and they do need to pledge, even if it's only a small amount, through the Claim Your College crowdfunding campaign.